Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through our ensuite and how I organize and store everything in there. So as you can see behind me, we have a double like ensuite happening. So we've got Ryan's side and then my side as well. So I want to show you guys basically some little hacks on how I keep everything organized and everything has a place. Um, the bathroom can be a really tricky place to keep like tidy and especially in our old house we had a very small vanity so obviously now it's quite large so if you have a smaller one and you want to see how i organize that i'll put the link um to the video on this as well so you can watch that bathroom to us so here is um ryan and my ensuite we got the double basin happening because in our old house we always had like the quite a small little ensuite um so we always just a joke when we're going to build our house we're going to have the double so that's what happened here i love it it is a really oversized vanity that's off the floor um so we actually got this made by our kitchen makers as well so that was really handy it's got heaps of storage can't wait to show you guys what is in there i'll quickly talk about these led lights ryan and i actually made these because if you look at buying an led mirror it's like 800 dollars. so we bought the mirrors themselves off ebay which was super cheap i think it was like 80 dollars, and then we got some mdf board which i'll show you in a second and we put the strip lighting around it and then we got our electrician just to hook it up to these points here so we got it hooked up so literally you just turn it on and off so if you're building i would definitely recommend um if you want to do led mirrors do something like this because you're gonna save a lot of money. So here is the mirror itself, and then behind there is the MDF board, and we basically glued the mirror onto the MDF and then put the strip lighting around it, and then Ryan obviously um, attached it to the wall. Definitely get an electrician to get that all hooked up for you for safety reasons. Don't do that yourself. <laughs> all right, so I wanna start on my half of the vanity and show you, you know, how I store my skincare and hair stuff and all that jazz. Um, so I'll start down here and these are just so satisfying even though I've had this for like a couple of years. So here we have my half of the vanity. I literally just grabbed some tubs from Ikea. So these are the Variera tubs and you guys would have seen them all over my house. And I just make made them each category. So down here we have the hair tub and that's got like, you know, hairspray, dry shampoo, backup shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff like that. And then here we got tanning. So we're like tanning mousses, exfoliating gloves, all that type of thing goes in here. And then over here is the body tub. So that's more like, you know, any razors, body moisturizers and stuff like that. I decided to get the bigger tubs for these categories here, obviously, because the products are always bigger. Like hairspray can be really bulky and so can like body moisturizers and stuff like that. So that's basically why I allocated the big tubs to those sections there. These categories are going to be different for everyone, depending on like your lifestyle, what stuff you use and stuff like that. Like obviously I have contacts, but if you don't wear contacts, you're not going to need that. So yeah, this really just depends on what you've got at home. So up the top here, I've got four of the smaller Variera tubs. We've got masks, which is just all of my face masks like you know james cosmetics and stuff like that and then over here we have body which is like you know your lady stuff like tampons and all that really fun stuff that we love so much um in the middle here this is just like my face roller that i use um and then we have contacts and then face so that's like other face products that i might want sometimes but yeah that's pretty much under my side of the sink basically stays like this like once you have a really good system in place you don't really need to keep have any upkeep you just pop things back where they belong yes i love this setup now i'm going to take you up here now over here this is definitely my favorite bathroom hack ever i just grabbed a cutlery caddy um, and this was just from a local store which i love it's actually called home time and i have like serums like so this is stuff i literally use every day so my serums my moisturizer sunscreen and stuff like that um, but yeah I just love this because it keeps all of my products together and tidy and you can just have it out and ready to go to save me from going back into the cupboard I don't know if that makes me lazy but anyway so yeah this is a great idea if you want to have you know products close by and in reach that you can always grab back here is my vanity planet this is my facial brush and I love this I've been using this for years it's literally the best way to take your makeup off so it comes with a few different heads this is a silicon head which is great for sensitive skin and then it also has a case which I'll show you quickly it has this little case that you can pop it in and then it has like an exfoliating brush and then another cleansing brush in there the third one is this silicon one so this one's antibacterial and and it's really good for sensitive skin. So I use this morning and night and I absolutely love it. I do get asked a lot about like how to remove your makeup properly. So I'm gonna show you guys how well it takes my makeup off now and I've got a full face of makeup. So I've washed the little brush head here and I'm literally just applying my favorite cleanser and then you turn it on. And it just baths all the makeup away. 
so good, even lipstick. So I always do a double cleanse. Obviously the makeup's gone, but now I'm gonna do it just to make sure it's really off. <laughs> and that's literally how I clean my face. Super easy. So I'll give you guys my discount code and the link below in the description. You'll get 70% off um, this whole kit. All right, moving on to the middle here. So this is the Little Label Co. Trio Stack. I use this for our cotton pads, cotton tips, and cotton balls. So that's just a really easy way to keep everything like together. I also use this for like my hair stuff. So I've got one for like elastics, clips, bobby pins. This little rolled up towel, you guys know I love to do that because it just makes it look really pretty. And then this is also from Freedom as well. So that's just basically what I have in the middle there. All right, moving on to the top drawer here. So this is where I keep like the hair straightener, the blow dryer, and then I've also got like a toothbrushes, toothpaste. This contraption is from Ikea. They actually don't stock it anymore though, but they do have a lot of different, you know, bathroom organizers at the moment you can check out. I keep my contacts in the back. Both of my eyes have different prescriptions, so that's why they have two sections. It's like deodorant, and there's like a mirror, and then yeah, that's literally just how I keep it all. It just keeps it really like tidy. So that is that one there. Moving down here is some more skin stuff. This is stuff I use like every now and then, like once a week. Um, this is like when I get my tattoo removal, I put these on afterwards. And then I've got like my laser soothe for after I get laser. So it's a bit of a mix here of stuff that I use. Got like my makeup brush cleaner, eyelash extension cleaner, just all that stuff. So these dividers are actually from Ikea and I bought two of them and just put them next to each other. And it just worked out perfectly. So that's that drawer there. Having everything like separated with dividers and tubs is just going to keep everything a lot cleaner and you're not going to get everything like muddled together. So that's that drawer. Now we're going to go on to Mr. Pace's side of the bathroom. So this is Ryan's side of the bathroom. And before you guys say anything, I know this is the wrong, wrong font. Um, I actually took this from downstairs because I figured we needed one for our upstairs bathroom. So I just need to switch that around, but you know, we can do that another time. Down here, Ryan's basically got body. So like any colognes and moisturizers and I don't know, boy stuff. <laughs> then he's got shaving. So for in, um, his razors and shaving cream and then dental. So that's, you know, if we buy a fair amount of toothpaste and extra toothbrushes and mouthwash and that type of thing. Um, this is a tub which I need to label travel. So this is all like our travel bags for when we go away. I just like to keep them all in there. And then this is just a case of my curler. So that's Ryan's side of the vanity. Sorry if my voice is a bit echoey. So this is what I use to store our shampoos, conditioners, body wash, and everything like that. Um, so all my labels and stuff are from Little Label Co, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, so basically I bulk buy our shampoo and conditioners and body wash from like Catch of the Day, and I'll literally just pour it in there. Um, and that honestly just saves so much money, and this just makes it look really neat and tidy. There's also pink ones, which I actually have in the girls en suite. So I think these are one liter and obviously Ryan's got his one over there because I use like blonde shampoo. <laughs> That's the only reason why. And then I've got like my Lust Minerals cleanser, razor and stuff like that. But yeah, it just keeps it really nice and neat. So you don't have like all this stuff scattered across the shower. You can actually use, if you have like really big hand soap bottles or anything that empty, you can just peel the label off and then get a personalized label and use it that way. So that's a little tip for that. I'll quickly take you guys through some of like the little decor pieces that I've got in here. So this is a candle um, by Blossoms by Ash. I love that. That one's in vanilla caramel, I think. Oh no, it's in the scent French pear. I love her stuff. This plant's from Adairs and then I got some little rocks from Kmart. And what I actually do is I put a plastic bag underneath so it brings all the rocks like higher to the surface and you don't need as many. The pot and the stand is also from Adairs. This little bin, I actually kind of remember where I got it from, but it's the brand Salt and Pepper. And then over here, these, are, these two were, I think from Adairs a few years ago. So it's like that concrete kind of look to match the tiles. But yeah, we have all black hardware and I absolutely love the black hardware. If you're considering it, I would definitely go for it because the chrome always marks, but this, cause it's matte, it always looks really, really clean. I love having the black fixtures. It just makes it look cleaner for longer as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas on how you can organize your bathrooms. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'm about to go get the girls from daycare and chill and watch TV pretty much. And please let me know what you would love to see next week on my channel and I'll see you then. Bye.